So I want to show you this uh, really cool ferro cement cistern. It's enormous. This is the biggest one I've ever seen in person. Um, it stores water. Uh, it stores water captured from a roof up here. This one's owned by the town of Yotatiro. And it's reinforced with these thingies on the side. It's big, big, big. Now, I'm not sure how deep it goes, but uh, it's very important as a society to store water. Because like in this climate, you don't have water some of the year. And so I'm not sure how many liters this holds. If I was going to make it up, well, I, I don't know how deep it goes, so I'm not sure. But uh, looking at it, it's certainly over 100,000 liters. My guess would be 200,000 liters. And the idea is that if there's ever a disruption, if there's ever an interruption in the in the water supply, then you still have water for your town to survive. Right now, water comes from two places in this town. It can come from springs way up in the hills, or it can come from a well. Either of those are kind of weak sources for water. Uh, the reason they're weak is because if, if everybody drills a well, then the water table reduces, and then you have to have conflicts over water. You have to fight over water. That's not good. But the, the rain provides water from the sky. And if we can store that, if everybody stores that in their home, ideally, then you have a, a stronger system. You have a, a ability to recuperate if there's a disruption. Now, there is a flaw with ferro cement cisterns, because if there's a big earthquake or something, then this could crack. And ferro cement cisterns often leak. This one is especially well built. It has brick inside, so it's not just wire and concrete, right? Ferro cement cistern is like wire and concrete oftentimes. But this is a little stronger than normal. Up on top, it's, it's probably pretty strong, and they've left some rebar on top. This uh, metal thing sticking out. So maybe you could even put a roof up here, and it could be a, like almost like a little plaza. It could be a spot, a band could play up there. It could be a place to be out of the rain. I'm not sure what their plans are, but they've even got a tube here for some electric to run up so they could put some lighting in there. So who knows what the future of this is? I haven't talked to anybody about it. I don't know. But this is the kind of thing that should exist if we're going to uh, have water when water is in short supply. Now, in the climate I'm in, this climate, uh, there's rain for like four months out of the year. And so. I'm going to collect that rain when the rains are here, and then we can use it the rest of the year. If everybody does this, then you have a strong society. Now, I'm also a fan of the big plastic uh, cisterns that collect water because in an earthquake, those will just wiggle and they won't lose the water. So I have mixed thoughts on all this, but it's still a very impressive cistern. Uh, I use a, one of these at where I live, and I have a, a cement and concrete one, uh, cement and uh, rocks, I guess, and, and that too could break in, a, in an earthquake. So I guess, in general, the takeaway here should be collect more water so your society is strong, and you don't have to fight with your neighbors over water. We don't have to steal it from the land by taking it from springs, which then we're stealing it from forests and things. We don't have to steal it from down below the earth in aquifers and then fight with our neighbors over the water table going down and fight over wells. Up in places like California, there's aquifers, big, huge things of water under the ground that people suck water out of when it's in short supply. The problem is those aquifers take potentially 10,000 years to resupply. So it's almost as bad as using up oil the way we do. We're taking a resource out of the ground that isn't going to get regenerated. And so in a place like California, every year that there's a drought, if they take more, then they're in a weaker position for the future. So this gets into bigger issues like agriculture and, and you know, unsustainable practices for our use of the land. The big win in a place like this, where the, the rain is clean, there's no big pollution issue going on, is to capture that rainwater 
so that you have real power in your society. Yar.